Okay, you vintage comic fans out there, this we're, it, time we're taking it back old school with some old Archie Pep comics. The original, uh, or one of the original Archie comics from way, way back in the day. I'm going to show you the front cover. We have it right there. I'm going to show you the back cover so you know what's going on on the back. See all those cool, fun advertisements. And then we're going to get right in there. I'm going to shine the light on it. We'll let it wiggle jiggle around all those nooks and crannies so you can see all the spine ticking, any wear and tear, any little uh, creases, folds, tears, cuts, bruises, etc. We'll show you the staples. And mostly, I could go through and catalog, catalog every little flaw and uh, issue, but what we'll do instead is I'm just going to let you see the light as it dazzles off there. We shine it on every corner. You can see if there's any dirt or anything like that. And rather than rely on me to tell you what I think about this comic, I'm just going to let you use your best expertise, knowledge, and judgment uh, to know what it is that you want to buy. So we'll do the same on the back so you get an idea of what's going on. Looks like a little bit of a tear right there in the corner. And we'll open that so you can see it a little bit better. Sometimes it shows better on that background. You might not have been able to see it up at the top, so we'll do that. And then, of course, what we will do is show a few of the interior pages. Not all, for many reasons, uh, but a few of the interior pages. That way, if there's anything torn, ripped, or, or missing, we might find that as we, as we leaf through it. You can often see the condition of the staples, and if there's any water damage, you can see the your judgment of what color this paper might be. If it's white, off-white, cream, etc., and finally, you'll see just a little bit of the quality and condition of the pages. We always like to show you this front splash cover so that you can see that's where oftentimes if anybody's written in it, it'll appear here. If there's chunks taken out of the cover, you'll see it. And if there's any real conditions with the cover or stress on the staples or spine, like we're seeing just a little bit right here, then you'll see it. So that's going to do it for PEP number 168 from 1964 we've got next up pep archie comics number 307 this is going back to 1975 some issues with that cover Oof, and the back isn't doing a whole lot better so uh, i'm gonna do this not to hide anything but just so that it will hopefully press itself out a little bit as we store it while you wait to buy it um, but you can see, obviously, it's got some dog ears, etc. Uh, we're going to show you this right here. You can see some water damage, some dirt, some issues like that. We'll let the, the light do its deal as we wiggle jiggle all the way across. We're going to wiggle jiggle on the back as well. And I'm going to get one more shot of this for the catalog. And yeah, you can feel it's it's gotten damp at one point. You can feel it's gotten stiff in the paper, as happens sometimes with that kind of water damage. Some issues right here, but all around. And you can see, hopefully it isn't, but I suspect that might be starting to mold a little bit, so be aware of PEP number 307. Moving right along here, we have PEP number 402. That's going all the way back to 85. You can see it's a newsstand copy. We'll flip it over on the back. And since we're there, we'll start there with the wiggle jiggle that let light do what it's gonna do. Ooh, looking pretty nice, nice and shiny all throughout. Not too many issues right here. A, a little tick on the cover, maybe a few more. Staples are in the back this time. So a little bit of kind of reverse roll right there. You don't see that too, too often. You usually see it the other way. And I don't know why that is, but you do. We've seen the back already, and we'll show a few of the interiors with whatever is going on here. And you can see the inside. That's going to do it for that one. We're moving on to PEP number 404 from 1986, early on in the year, starting it off right. We'll flip it over on the back so you can see that as well. Looking pretty good. Let's wiggle it. Looking good. Obviously some issues here and there like you would expect with the kind of age wear, shelf wear, whatever you want to call it. 
from an issue of this age, but not too, too shabby. Show you quality and condition of those pages. And we move right along to pack number 405, same year, 86. Similar condition, not too bad. All along here, we'll show you the front. Of course, we'll show you the back. Little issue right there. We'll let the light do its deal. It will tell the story better than I will, so we'll let that light get on there. And of course, we do these in high definition. Uh, by the time it gets to you, it may have downscaled a little bit, but it should still be high def enough that you can stop, rewind, go back, zoom in, and see any spots that if you think you might have seen something uh, that we didn't catch, you can certainly let us know, but it's important that you know because you're the one going to be buying this and putting it into your collection. Number 407 from Pep Comics, Archie. This is also 1986. We'll have these high-def photos in the catalog as well, so you can always take a look at those. Zoom in and you can see a little bit of discoloration right there. We can go right here, show you the interiors. And of course, I'm going to show you one more time. Here, along with that newsstand cover, not too shabby. Pep number 408 is our next book here. We'll show it on the back. We're going all the way back to 1986 with this one. And it shows it's about 30 some odd years old. Some wear and tear, some issues on that corner cover, if you can see that. We'll let the light wiggle jiggle off of it. You can see right here, it is a newsstand copy. A little bit of creasing along the cover, your normal wear and tear along the spine. Actually, that's a pretty good looking spine, considering. Shine the light on the back. A little tougher to see any flaws with this because it's a whiter cover, but all around, not too shabby. We'll show you the interiors. We're going to finish out here with lot number four, uh, with book number 409 from Pep from Archie Comics. We'll show you the back. You've seen both covers. Now we'll let the light really tell that tale. Shine the light on it. You can see the corner up here. You can see the corner right here. We'll flip it over here so you can see that as well. And the interiors. And that's going to do it.